So the play is called The Elaborate Entrance of Chad Deity. I call it Chad Deity, or Chad, all the time in shorthand. Um, it's about professional wrestling. I'm a huge wrestling fan. I was a huge wrestling fan. Now I'm just sort of a nerd about wrestling. I know what's going on. Um, but it's also uh, about racial politics, ethnic politics, America, celebrity, opulence, money, all that kind of good stuff. And it's a lot of fun, and it's actually kind of... Um, uh, I, I can't think of a theater space that's more fitting for this kind of play. There's a wrestling ring in the middle of it. Um, there's entrances that come in everywhere. There's lights and sounds and all this stuff. And uh, the possibility of doing this here in the performance chamber down there and playing with space and playing with the audience is, like, mind-blowing. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. As a playwright, you write a play, you send it out, and somebody has to read it and imagine what it's going to be like up when it's up on its feet. And um, I've been the person who's read plays before, and uh, when stage directions are neutral or things are sort of straightforward, uh, you may not be able to get the tone. And the tone of this play is so uh, hopefully fun and, and bright and silly and all over the place um, that I really want to get information across in a way that, that somebody who's reading it for the first time is going to uh, have an understanding of what it's going to feel like. Um, and, uh, and, it, and the wrestling world is such a foreign world to people in theater that I think there's a lot of information that we need to get across that way. Um, second, it's a play, uh, I think I'm not the kind of playwright who just believes that my job is just to write the words that people are going to say. My job is to sort of help create this entire world. And so the designers and the actors and the director, everybody's going to come to it later. And um, my uh, uh, thoughts on what we're going to see and what we're going to hear are all part of my, my process. And so getting that down on the page is just as important as figuring out what each character is going to say to somebody else. I want a really broad group of people to come see the play and to feel comfortable. And so I do want people who are comfortable with Dancing with the Stars. Um, also, there's some references about plays like August Osage County and, excuse me, um, so there's, I, I want people who are, are interested in all different kinds of cultural forums and different kinds of storytelling to be comfortable coming into this space. Um, and, uh, and, and I think that for a lot of us, particularly for, for younger folks, you know, I'm 30, I'm about to turn 34, and people, I think my generation and the generations coming up after us, um, we don't separate the things that we're interested in the same way that people may have done it before. And I think that you can be interested in theater and wrestling and television and dancing and all these different things, and uh, you don't have to keep them separated. And so I, in my head, um, have all those things that are going on, and I'm interested in all those different things, and they are similar to me, they influence each other, they influence the way that I look at something else. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, um, that it, you need to continue to do that for the storytelling. You need to figure out how those pieces come together, and that helps you to tell the story you're actually trying to tell.